As it's starting to get late and I'm like getting exhausted here. Walking around looking for fronds to make these support beams. I decided to go ahead and dismantle Yurt 1.0. Um, you can see the door has been taken down, parts of it. I'll be pulling these other pieces here. Because there are some nice straight pieces that I need. And they're somewhat long. So, Yurt 1.0 is about to um, disintegrate. I don't know if I'm going to go to finish it tonight because I am exhausted. It's a lot of work out here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start to uh, keep working on the scaffolding here and see if we can't um, get the roof up tonight if we can on this new um, structure. So I'm removing um, the wall panels here from Yurt 1.0 and look what I found living underneath. Yeah, except he looks kind of dried out, but he's alive, he was hopping, some kind of toad. I wonder if that's what was making the noise under there, maybe another toad or something? Does anyone know what kind of toad this is? He is alive, even though he's just sitting there. He just jumped a minute ago. Anyhow, you can see we've got Yurt 1.0, it's getting destroyed because I am taking um, components, taking the, ooh, feel lightheaded here. I'm taking the components from here, from Yurt 1.0, to be used on Yurt 2.0. So these walls are becoming um, part of the roofing. So, I was hoping to try to get most of the roofing up tonight, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it because I'm just feeling so weak and tired. I might be heading out soon. Several hours. And this is how far we've gotten. Putting up the roofing has been very slow. Uh, mainly because I'm trying to make sure that we have um, enough beams across the roof to try to stop um, the water from collecting. And to just, you can see the structure is really strong. Like I'm kind of pushing a little bit hard, but not real, real hard. But it's not wobbly like the other one was. And I tried to, you know, not have too many gaps, too many big gaps. I'm trying to fill up all the, the gaps so that the um, water will run off. We're probably not going to be able to finish tonight because I'm just exhausted. But I am going to try to cover up this portion, this half of the roofing, so that we at least have a dry spot. Half of the yurt will be uh, covered so I can start to move things over here. It's um, starting to get really late, so I'm going to have to leave here in a minute. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to finish the entire roofing, but just wanted to show you how far along we've gotten. The new yurt has, um, I haven't finished that side yet over there, but I think I'm going to put one more panel there and start to move some of the stuff over under here to see, you know, if I can keep it dry, because yurt 1.0 is like exposed now. You can see Yurt 1.0 is missing a lot of the panels. That's what I use for the roofing. So we're going to take all the panels down and use those first. Then we're going to start removing the roof from here. We'll try to leave the frame up if we can. I say we, I mean me. <laughs> I'm going to try to leave it up if I can, but if I can't, then. Um, this will all be taken down and there'll be nothing here. So, kind of sad to see uh, the yurt go. I never did get to spend the night in it. But it was too uh, flimsy, had um, animals crawling around in it. Yurt 2.0, I'm making a little bit more stable. It's um, not a little, it's quite a lot more stable. Looks cleaner. You can see the wood is pretty solid. The unit, I mean, if you pushed hard, it would fall down, but <laughs> still held together with zip ties. But um, it's actually pretty stable and it's a little bit bigger. I'm gonna, I'm contemplating sealing the floor by getting um, uh, some more, um, what's this stuff? 
I'm so tired I can't think. The tarp and laying it down. And then um, doing the walls. And then I want to put some um, grass on the walls and the roofing too. So outside the unit will have grass. It'll look like a grass hut. That's the plan at least. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it, but I'm gonna try it. So let me try to get this other last piece in before it gets too dark and then I gotta head out. This is how we're gonna leave the yurt today on day four of our build. I did not fully finish um, putting up the roof as I had hoped that I would have. I could try to stay and finish it, but I think it's going to get pitch black out here, and I don't want to be caught out here in the dark. But we got like three quarters of the roof done by taking the walls. That's why there's dirt all over everything. By taking the walls from Yurt 1.0 and putting on Yurt 2.0 as the roof. I didn't take apart the roof yet on Yurt 1.0. I wanted to keep things dry. I think I'm going to... Um, the roof's like not done. I still need to put the seal over the center. But for now, I think it will at least keep out most of the rain if it rains. So I think I might move um, the items from Yurt 1.0 over to here. But I'd say it's looking pretty good. I am debating whether or not to put more fronds up here along the side because I'm kind of running out of time. I have to get this thing done within a day, within a few days. So, trying to do more fronds, I may or may not be able to. Maybe when I take the roof down, I can just take the fronds from the other yurt and that might make it go faster. But I gotta find like, um, you can see I have fronds all over again because I've been digging them up from the trees and stuff, the palm trees. The problem with them is um, they're not the right size, or they're too um, brittle, or whatever. So, I think once I get the roof up, I may try to get the walls up without using more fronds, because I'm planning on using some grass to make um, an outer shell. And then there'll be fronds that the um, grass attaches to, and then that will attach to these beams. At least that's the plan. I have removed all of the walls for your 1.0. So you can see here is our messed up framework here. Broken in several places from the storm. I think I broke it further trying to remove some of the walls. Kind of sad to see this building go. It was looking really nice. Maybe I'll put another one up here later. But for now, I need the components. And this one really wasn't as stable as it should be. I was originally going to leave, but thought, you know what? I just have this little section left. I have these two panels. I think I'm going to go ahead and try to put up what I can. I don't think it'll get completely covered but I can have the roof about 90% done. So the next time I come here, I can just finish it up and start on the walls. Once the wall is up, most of the yurt will be done. And yeah, the birds are starting to hunt because it is, um, I know the camera doesn't show it, but it is actually dark. It's um, almost eight o'clock at night right now. And um, the sun is rapidly setting. It is um, 8.15 at night. I put up the last piece as best as I could. A little gap here, which I think I'm going to close with the flap that will go across the whole unit. From the other roof. I see the animals coming out now. Lizards, birds, and other animals. And I heard what might be a boar or something. A big animal. Maybe there are wild boars around here. Unfortunately, I don't have anything secured at this point. Um, here at 1.0, just has the roofing up. Everything else is exposed. And here at 2.0, has the roof about 95% done. And it's actually um, pretty comfortable under here. It's huge. It's like 
This is from one side. You can see the other side there. We don't have a center opening except for this spot right here, which I'm going to cut. I mean, I'm going to shut. I'm not going to leave it open. But, um, because I think leakage was more of an issue than um, venting. So we learned quite a lot of lessons from our first build and um, decided to go ahead and um, use real wood this time so it went a lot smoother. The structure itself is a lot more sound. I don't think it's going to fall down unless a hurricane hits it. And even then it might survive. We'll see. Of course, it's only being held together with zip ties. <laughs> so, maybe it won't hold. I don't know. I do know that it should be a lot stronger than the um, Yurt 1.0. So, with any luck, this Yurt will actually be a functional one that somebody can stay in.